So the Radha Yatra started 7th of July and then I gave a Harikatha behind, you know, behind this great festival in Jagannath Puri. Um, so the entire world now know about this Radha Yatra due to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Prabhupada actually. So the Radha Yatra starts after Snana Yatra, the bathing of Lord Jagannath. So in Jagannath Puri, so what they do is they really give, give a big, big, big bath for many days to Lord Jagannath. And also at that time, they, they used to do the Chandan Yatra. No? So that starts from the Akshay Tritya for 21 days, they will do that. So now this Nana Yatra happens in the temple complex where holy waters from so many holy rivers are brought. So at the end of the Snana Yatra, Snana means bathing, eh? taking bath. Snana means uh, taking bath. So then Lord Jagannath says that now I, got, I have you know, got cold <laughs> because I have been taking bath for so many, so many days continuously because they bring the holy waters from so many, so many holy rivers all over the, you know, India. And so he is telling uh, Lakshmi Devi saying, I need a vacation because he is trying to, to use that as an excuse to, to go for a travel. Where? Travel to a nearby temple called Gundicha Mandir. This Gundicha Mandir is actually represents Brindavan. So the Jagannath Puri temple represents Dwaraka. So Dwaraka Krishna is Dwarakeshwara. Is in is the is the mood of Krishna different mood and he was in Dwaraka and but the thing is he always have affection to Brindavan so he was looking forward to get some excuse to tell tell uh, Lakshmi Devi to get away and go to Gundija temple so that's what the whole Radha Yatra is because if you see that you know. This Snana is not, not ordinary, it's very, very, very special, only for so anyway, so I covered this in the, in, in one of the previous class, right? So when Lakshmi Devi comes to know, oh, Jagannath is saying that, Lord Jagannath is saying that he, he is sick now because of so much of, you know, water. So he gives permission, yes, please take a, take a vacation. But actually, as I mentioned, it is not the real reason. Jagannath is really telling, he did not get any cold or something. But he is telling that as an excuse so that he can get away from this Dwaraka mood to get into the Vrindavan mood. That is what is all about Radha Yatra. So when we, so when the, you know, Radha Yatra is actually represents that we have to pull the Lord into our heart and we have to make our heart as Brindavan. Brindavan is the one which is really full of affection to Krishna. Brindavan loves Krishna. Every Brajavasi love Krishna. Their love is not like the Dwaraka love. Dwaraka love is different. That is Sakya Bhava, huh? friendship and all those. That is different. But Brindavan love is very, very special. So that is why, yes, as soon as, you know, <laughs> Lakshmi Devi says, okay, yes, go take a, take a break. Then Jagannath, uh, Lord Jagannath jumps into the chariot and then Lord Balaram jumps to, to said, I, I need help. I need support, my, my brother. Subhadra Devi also says, now I am getting bored. I will let me also jump. That is, that was how the whole Radha Yatra is coming. So actually this Radha Yatra festival became so famous because of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Until then, even though it was a big event in, in, in Bharat, but it was not that famous until Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came there. So in the beginning of the Radha Yatra car festival, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to offer special prayers, very special prayers. And that's what it is. Jayati Jan Nivaso Devai Ki Jan Mavado Yadu Vaira Parishaswair Dorbida Santa Dharmam 
सिरचर व्रजन कृणा सुस्मित श्री मुखेना ब्रजपुर वरदय काम देव दिस इज फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम एंड ही यूज टू रिसाइड दिस ओ लॉर्ड अल्टीमेट रिसॉर्ट You are the one who really takes care of every one of us. All is you are bhakta vajsala. You do so many leelas in Dwaraka. You do leela, and also as Deva Gindana, you do leela in the in the in Dwaraka, and Yashoda Nandana, you do leelas in Braj Leela. So he is everything, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually praying in the mood of Radha Rani actually meeting because he sees Jagannath as. Nandan and then Krishna, but many people, most of the people think that as he says to Dwara Keshwar Krishna, but that is not the way Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually was really offering this prayer. And in fact, not only that, if you really see here, when Chai, when Dwara Ka Krishna came from Dwara Ka to this the the. To the place to really take bath here in 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 Bharat. That is when these the gopis also came to see see Krishna, and the gopis were crying and crying and crying. And he said, "Don't tell, you know." He, you know, they were whispering in the ears of Krishna. Oh no, no, you are not Dwaraka Krishna. You are the Nanda Nanda Krishna. Come back to Brindavan. Brindavan, come to Brindavan. Your father and mothers are not Vasudeva and Devi. No, don't say that. You are from the from the Yadu Vams. You know, don't say that you are actually a Yadu, huh? Yadava. Say only that you are a Gopa. And Krishna says, Yes, yes, I will follow your instruction because Krishna was crying when he came uh, in the in the the for for the solar eclipse. He really comes here. So that time, Gopis also come. Gopis. They are not the real form of gopis. They are actually the chai rupa gopis came. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu praised this. Jayati Janavani Vasa means you are you are in the court of every jivan, every being as every living being as Paramatma. And now you don't say you are the only Madhuravasis and the worldly people will say that Krishna took took birth in the womb of Mother Devaki. No, that is a fake. That is not the, the 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 real birth. Real birth happened in in Br- Br- Brindavan, mm, Gokul. Okay, so there is a lot of things behind. It's very difficult to understand the leelas of Krishna actually. So actually, you are the son of Mother Yashoda. That's what this 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 is. Devaki Janma Vado is Vado. It's not true. <laughs> It's a Vado. <laughs> so actually, what is important? Then what is the truth? Truth is you are. What you are actually there? You are you are born in the womb of Yashoda. There it was a show only for everybody in Aapulet. Because remember when when the Krishna appeared there in Madura and also also in the Brindavan same time. And in when he appeared in 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 Madura that was a show. <laughs> so because he appeared as Lord Narayan, his form. Hmm. That's what the whole world knows about it. Anyway. So this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to offer prayers, pranam, taking this this sloka from the Sri Mat Bhagavatam. Hmm. Okay. So now, the thing is, as you all know, when the Radha Yatra starts, the king, ah, huh, king used to really because Rao the nowadays the the and the the descendants, the king's son and son and son like that, it has gone. So they used to come and sweep in front of the Radha. That is why, if we see the Radha Yatra festival, you know, of Absalom Prabhupada who really brought that to the Western world, we are somebody in the mayor of that city will swipe. So you know, they will sweep the the in front of the Radha. So that is a tradition. So that time when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, that that king was Prathapa Rudra Raja. Ah, uh, Prathapa Rudra. He was the one who really used to come and take the coconut stick broom in his own hands, and then, as like a sweeper, he used to really, you know, sweep the, you know, the the street 
so then only the radha yatra will start otherwise the radha cannot be moved even if this is not happening anyway and this purush this the, that king uh, you know like you know that i told pratapa rutra raja he was actually a son of purushottama jana there is some interesting story that i will tell the story so 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 you will you, you will like to hear you know what all happened how the lord krishna and balaram they are all really so blending with the with the devotees so purushottama jana who was the, actually the father of pratap the the uh, the uh, rutra who was at the time of chaitanya mahaprabhu so this purushottama jana had an arrangement with a king of kataka nagara there was another another country nearby so there was an arrangement to marry the king's daughter who is that purushottama jana a puri was you know uh, you know was to marry the daughter of the king of kataka nagara so the two kings they were communicating etc etc now but again you know they no date was given to so, so the king of kataka nagara said i am going to come and then visit you and i want to see you in person but no date was given so it was unannounced so then what happened was after some time that king uh, king of the the kataka nagara he wanted to see the purushottama jana because you know he is going to give his his daughter as in marriage and that time when he came it was a first day of the radha yatra festival what will happen there in the radha yatra festival the king is supposed to take a broomstick right broomstick and then like a sweeper he has to broom the, the you know the, the street in front of the radha and this king of kataka nagara this came disguised you no know, he, 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 he was not coming with all the all the paraphernalia he really came as disguised to see how good is this king is he really really very wealthy so that i can give my my daughter in marriage and then as soon as he saw that this king purushottama jana was sweep like sweeping he got disgusted oh my god a king is doing this this sweeper job i cannot give my daughter to the, the, the sweeper oh he returned without seeing king purushottama so after few days after the festival the radha yatra was over king purushottama jana remembered the agreement hey what happened to that king he said he is going he is going to give his daughter to me in marriage what is happening i we haven't really got anything there then through the spies the news came that the king actually came disguised and when he saw this purushottama jana was sweeping in front of the radha yatra he got disgusted and he returned back saying i am not going to give my daughter in marriage to this sweeper yes you know he is not a king because of this what happened then immediately king purushottama jana declared war he was soon as he came to know wow you promised and now you are actually you know you are insulting me i am actually a, a devotee of the lord and i am serving the lord this is me you know i am a servant for my, for my lord and this you are insulting me not only me my lord you are insulting he insulting so he declared a war on the king of kataka nagara and wanted to invade his kingdom actually that particular the king of kataka nagara was a staunch devotee of lord ganesh so when the when the war was going on lord ganesh was actually favoring the side of his devotee king of kataka nagara so the king of kataka nagara defeated purushottama so purushottama returned back and when he returned back he immediately ran to the temple jagannath puri he stumbled there and he assembled every you know brought everybody and then he told lord jagannath in front of the deities oh lord i am serving you 
and yet you are not helping me i was defeated because the demigod ganesh helped him i remembered you but you did not help me and if you are not going to help me i am going to die right here i will not eat or drink anything and i will die here in front of you lord jagannath in your temple itself i will die because you have to help me and how can that you know just a demigod can actually just just to just to defeat me who is a servant of you and then king purushottama jana returned to his palace and that night lord jagannath appeared in his dream oh oh, oh, oh king purushottama jana don't worry go again and invade the king's territory baladev and i both will personally come there go start it and we will be able to defeat the king and also the demigod ganesh we will take care of that on the next day the king called his army and his generals and prepared for a big war again he gathered so many of the so many of these soldiers and he started to really march towards that that city kataka nagara and by the time he was about to approach a place called chilka alana nata there was a place called chilka alana nata and the so they were actually going there but in front of them but nobody you know they were going far away there were two persons they were on the on the halts ha huh? young and beautiful two boys they were riding one on the white horse and another one on a red horse and they were just galloping galloping on just front but far away nobody could really notice but then what did these two boys do on the way these two boys on the horses saw a old village woman who was actually a carrying a pot of buttermilk on her you know to sell oh buttermilk 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 who want buttermilk you know because in, in india you will see there are so many places they sell like this can you you know you know then these two boys just asked that that old the lady give me some buttermilk and the old lady said oh, can you pay me i will give you some some buttermilk you you pay then i will give some buttermilk and one of the boys of, of, of the two said i can pay we are soldiers and we are on the way to fight my you know my king is coming back and he will pay you when he reaches here oh then the old lady said how will he know that you have taken this buttermilk <laughs> then the boy said we will give you some proof you can show the king that proof and then he will pay and that you know what was the, the thing that he gave a ring a ring from his finger he really took it and then gave to the old lady and said yes here you go this is the proof and when you when the king comes you really tell and then show this and he will pay <laughs> i don't have any money <laughs> he will pay and then you know everything will be will be settled so the krishna was on the red horse and then then the other one was he uh, baladev so those these were actually going there and then two boys they, these two boys after drinking all the buttermilk whatever the whole big pot they drank all of them and then they were just happily just galloping on the on the horses and then the king and army they were just following and when they reached that place uh, that chilka that, that place the old lady began to search for the king <laughs> she was asking where is the king where is the king and some soldiers replied oh sure oh there is a king right there on the on the on the palanquin oh okay all right so he ran to the king and said your two soldiers have gone ahead they had taken my buttermilk and totally finished my whole pot they told me that our king will pay 
Oh, that's why I'm asking you to pay me. Oh, the king said, none of my soldiers have gone before me. I haven't seen anyone. Then she replied, yes, they have. There were two young boys, very beautiful and energetic soldiers who went before you. The king wanted to see some proof. And therefore the old lady produced that. Ah, two finger, two finger rings, one Valadev and then one Krishna. Ah, okay, each one gave one ring actually. And he saw on that name, on that one, there was a carving. One was Jagannatha Singh. And another one saying Baladeva Singh. Singh means a lion. The lion, lion, Jagannath the lion, Baladeva the lion, like that. And the king was shocked to see the ring. You know why? It was the same ring that he gave, he made with the goldsmith, these two rings, and then gave it to Jagannath. And now he is seeing these two rings coming here. Aha, then he realized, okay, Krishna and Baladev, they are going to be in front. No problem. We will, will, you know, we will win the war. No problem at all. And he became so happy. And then within, you know, with very, very little effort, that, king, you know, king, king of Kataka Nagara was defeated. The entire army was killed. And then the, the, the Lord Ganesh, as if he, he started, you know, like, like, like just running away. So he could not do anything. And immediately this, this, uh, this, this uh, Purushottama Jana, he forcefully took the daughter of the king. Along with, and also the costly golden Singhasana. It's a peacock throne called Mora Singhasana. And also he just like that, he lifted the, 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 the deity of Lord Ganesh that, that the, the other king worshipped because he wanted to punish. So he then also he arrested the king and then he said, I am, I should have actually actually killed you because of the insult that you did for Lord Jagannath and me of course. But I am not going to want to kill you. I will leave you. But you know what I will do? Because you insulted me that I am actually a sweeper, I am going to marry your daughter to a sweeper only. So the king grabbed Vanta. That Ganesh is called Vanta. Vanta means child, cheater. Because he is supposed to help the devotees of, the, of Lord Krishna. If he is doing the other way, then he is cheating. That's why he is called Vanta Ganesh. Okay? Anyway, so, yeah, so, so this is one of the one of the sloka there you see the third line it's coming because I'm not going to do the whole thing because the time is running. So the third line it says Ganesha Chittapada. Okay, anyway, so what it means is all these you Jagannath, sometimes in great happiness, you make loud you know concert with your flute in the groves of the banks of the Yamuna. That is Nandanandan Krishna. You are like a, like, like a bumblebee tasting the you know, beautiful lotus like faces of the cowherd damsels of Braja, gopis. And great personalities such as Lakshmi Devi, Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, Lord Indra and all these, these Ganesha also that you really, really conquered. They worship your lotus feet. May that Lord Jagannath Swami be the object of my vision. Hmm. Lord Ganesh is supposed to help the devotees of Lord Krishna. But because he helped the opposite party, he was called Vanta, Vanda Ganesha. So this Lord Ganesh is the demigod removing obstacles. Of course, he has power, but where is he getting the power from? Because all the demigods, they get the power from the Lord only. So here, Lord Ganesh is getting the power to remove obstacles, that's why he is called Vigneshwara. Vigna means obstacles. Vigna Ishwara means he is the Ishwara of the obstacles. Like, like, the, like Shiva is the Ishwara of, of, the, of, the, of the, this universe and things like that. But who is a Parama Ishwara? Yeah, that is. Who, who is that Parama Ishwara? That is Krishna. Ishwara Parama Krishna. Ishwara Parama is Krishna. 
Krishna is Paramagat Ishwara. So this is like one of the demigod. So that we can we can see where he is getting the power from. Yet pada pallava yugam vinidaya kumbha dvandve pranama chama yecha ganadiraya. This this Ganesh where is he getting it from? Bignam vihandumala masya jagatra yasya govinda madhi purusham tamaham bajami. to get the power required to remove all the obstacles within the three worlds this ganesha the demigod who is who is actually bestowing success to the devotees of krishna always hold the divine lotus feet huh? of sri govinda upon the pair of his cranial mounds see like that that is a picture this is how he is getting actually he is not even getting directly from krishna he is getting from lord narasimha dev because lord narasimha dev is the one who is the remover of obstacles mainly right that is why we say we say we sarva vigna vigna vara lord narasimha dev ki jay we say that so anyway the, the king purushottama purushottama jana also he conquered vidyanagara and with the permission of the the sakshi gopal the sakshi gopal temple actually i covered the in the separate harikatha about this this sakshi gopal story sakshi gopal was originally there in brindavan and he walked all the way from brindavan to to this to this place this is such as the the the, the, the right place is in vidyanagara where there was a brahmin for whom he came as a witness Shakti means witness, huh? but then now it's not there. Where is now? That is now near Jagannath Puri. Who brought that? That is this King Purushottam Ajana. He brought that all the way from there. The deity all the way from there, and then built the temple here in the Sakshi Gopal Temple in near near this Jagannath Puri Temple. Huh? That's the same deity that we really saw saw when we really went to this this Parikrama. Okay, so if you see that this is the Sakshi Gopal Temple, uh, same Sakshi Gopal Temple, we got a very good darshan actually. Mm. So this this is where Lord Gopal Ji, as a deity, personally walked to become a witness. So this is the place finally the deity was taken from Purushottam Jana and installed here, and that is the story. Anyway, so that is a big story. Anyway, we made a drama out of that. I am not going to be talking about that. You can see that in the YouTube video. We have we have done very big drama. Anyway, now the King Purushottam of Puri also brought you know that girl, right? That daughter of that that the king to Puri, as I mentioned, and he again said to the girl, "I will not marry you. I will give you to a sweeper only." and she was crying and crying and crying and he was already arranging to really pick a sweeper and then you know you know giving her in in marriage but she was crying and crying and finally that you know, the people, the ministers came to know oh this this girl is now you know she's crying crying so they pacified her saying okay don't worry don't worry okay we will do whatever that is necessary because you know you know you just wait the proper time will come and you know in the next time the car festival this radha yatra comes we will try to do something about it and the next year the radha yatra started and this same purushottam jana was grooming in front of the radha to start the radha yatra at that time all the ministers inspired by the girl to go to him and say yo oh, go 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 they were all behind go and then tell her to him saying like this i want to marry this very sweeper <laughs> tell that tell that go 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 so the ministers were supporting and go 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 and king uh, purushottam was jana was just sweeping and then this 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 uh, daughter of the of the other king king of kataka nagara So he is now he, he, he here in uh, here Jagannath, Jagannath Puri. So he he went and then saying, oh, uh, you know, then he said, you are you are a sweeper, and this girl, me, is actually 
I I want to be really married to this weeper. All right. So you all the immediately ministers really came. Hmm. Minister came. Yeah, this is very good. Yes. Oh, king, you are a sweeper, and this girl will be the wife of a sweeper, and we agree with this. <laughs> so the girl began to now cry and cry and cry, and the king was. was really he didn't have any other option so he accepted him as the queen and this that queen uh, sorry that king that uh, purushottam jana and this queen the son was born that his name is king pratap rutra that i talked about who was there at the time of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu You understand now? See how how beautifully that is coming. The story is coming there, and this king was living when Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there. That is Prataparutra, the son of this king, that I told the story about. So, so the king Purushottam was queen. He got very attached to this deity and gave many gifts actually. Then one day she wanted to give something very valuable to to Shanti Gopal. and he was singing about a very very costly pearl very valuable pearl that is here that this is the most precious pearl that i like so he said i want to give this as a no string for sachi gopal but he was wondering because oh i didn't really closely look at the look at the dt is there a hole hole in the you know remember in the dt if you want to put a no string you need to have a hole in the dt so he was wondering oh my maybe it does not have a hole then how will i put the put the pearl ring there and of course then she was thinking like that she she really slept night in the night the dt appeared in his dream and he showed the nose oh look at here my maya yashoda maya actually pierced my my nose and look at here i have a hole please you know this this put your you know put, put the pearl ring here oh my god look at the queen as soon as she got up from the thing immediately she ran there took the pearl the early morning she went running 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 and he placed that you know pearl in the in the nose of that okay so now you see the whole so many things are there in the back of this radha yatra it's not ordinary so many things happens right so now on the day of hera panchami remember that the hera panchami i actually posted a, some 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 in the big blog also i don't know how many of you could really read So that day, Hera Panchami is the day, which which just a few days back actually. That day, Lakshmi Devi was actually becoming very worried. What happened and what happened? Now Jagannath is not here, and then Baladev is also gone, and then Subhadra is gone. Now what happened to Jagannath? Where did he go? And then then he is actually uh, sending spies all the way, all the places to find out where is Lord Jagannath, where is he, where has he gone? and he comes to know that he is he has gone to guntija temple and because this is like brindavan he is having a happy time of course here in jagannath puri and jagannath is really eating how many times 48 48 times or something he will be continuously eating but there in guntija temple nothing maybe one, three three meals or something like that very simple some rice dal very simple there Uh, that is how the brindavan is but then actually that guntija temple has a very big uh, thing back also it was actually built by the the queen of a king who that is uh, indra dimuna who built the me big temple so guntija was the was the, was the name of the queen who also wanted to build a temple that is what the guntija temple it represents brindavan okay so brindavan is very very opulence is 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 really hidden opulence is there but it's hidden that is brindavan okay so just one day before radha yatra starts 
Gundicha temple is cleaned. And that event is called Gundicha Marjanam. Marjana means cleaning. Gundicha is the, actually that temple is getting cleaned before one day before the Ravayatra starts from Dwaraka, uh, that is the, that, from the Jagannath Puri temple. So that that why why there the, 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 why the Gundicha Marjanam? Cleaning the temple represents cleaning our heart. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every time when the Ravayatra starts the previous day. He will bring so many, so many devotees and he will make sure that the temple is completely cleaned from not even a single dirt should be there like that. So, you know, Lord Chaitanya used to say, let us see who cleans the maximum, who collects the maximum dust, I want to see. So the, that event is called Gundicha Marjanam, cleaning the Gundicha temple. Hmm. Remember, Gundicha means that represents Vrindavan, which is our heart. And pulling the Radhayatra from the, from the, from the Jagannath Puri temple, that is from Dwara, that Dwaraka, the, we are pulling him away to the Vrindavan, which is our heart, which is what its love is. So Vrindavan is the place of love. And Dwaraka is a place of opulence. Fear is there. You cannot really have very close, close relation to, to the Lord. Huh? Do you understand? That is why this Gundija Marjanam is also related to the first verse of this, uh, this Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is uh, Sikshashtrakam. Cheto Darpana Marjanam. So that is related to this one now. So the chanting is the only one which really cleans us. And now this is physically that we are actually showing that the, how the Gundicha temple is clear. Okay. So after the Gundicha Marjanam, so then the chariot actually comes from, from Jagannath Puri temple towards this Gundicha temple there. And Jagannath, Krishna and Baladev and Subhatra all reach and stay in Vrindavan. So they were staying until few days back. That is the, that is the Hera Panchami. They were all together. But then on the day of Hera Panjami, what happened now? The news comes and then now Lakshmi Devi comes and then he really makes so much of noise. There some, you have really come out of me and you are a cheater like that. And then, so, so that, that was how these, these particular return Radhayatra is coming. So how it, how it happened? Because this Lakshmi Devi is counting the days. That Jagannath is not returned. Another day, another day, another day. And on the day of Hera Panchami, he comes to know that, yes, Lord Jagannath has really taken away from me. And I have to punish him or something. So he, he you know, because he gets so ang angry. And she grabs a broomstick. <laughs> Why is a broomstick? <laughs> and the bucket of water. And then he says, yeah, right, bring my palanguin. And he steps on it. But why broomstick? To beat Jagannath. <laughs> of course, it's not for the sweeping. No, it is for, for, for beating Lord Jagannath. That anger he sees. It's all leelas. So the broom, so, so it is not the broomstick is not the one one by the king to sweep, but also used by Lakshmi Devi. Yeah. But then why does he taking a bucket bucket of water? Because Jagannath got sick because of the water only <laughs> bathing bathing. <laughs> now he got crabbed a right? bucket of water, and now there all the devotees are really carrying Lord you know the, the goddess Lakshmi. In a palanquin, that's what you see in the picture. And they are coming toward the Gundicha temple, which you, which you see on the left side. So the right side is Lakshmi Devi is coming and now there are supporting devotees on either side. They have a fight. <laughs> it, is a, it is actually a friendly fight, in fact. I mean, for the enacting the pastime, they do that. They actually do fighting. They really you, you know, use broom and sticks and everything. So really, they really beat each other. And even if you go to Gundicha temple, the last time when we went, it was closed because of the, this, this whatever the, the, 
so it was closed but then when you go inside they will beat you on your head with a, with a stick or like a broom uh, yeah actually that is a broom stick they, they they will beat you to represent this one only ha huh? okay so now the devotees of lakshmi devi now beat the gundija residents a big fighting goes on there and you can see the fighting and it is very enchanting <laughs> so there will be devotees who represent brajavasis from the gundija temple and devotees who represent dwaraka by seeing the fighting jagannath declares i have to go back <laughs> i am declaring emergency here now i have to do something about it and he jumps out ah uh, because baladev and subhadra already left as soon as they heard here panjave they left now and now after some time you know this all over then lord lord jagannath says now i have, i better go now and so jagannath also reluctantly returns back to jagannath puri temple that return journey is called bahuda yatra bahuda means returning actually when lord jagannath actually and tries to enter into the temple because he goes last right lakshmi devi was still angry on lord jagannath and he said no you cannot enter you cannot enter the temple but then baladev comes subhadra there they are waiting there right and also the all the devotees they are all really so you know pacify lakshmi devi and finally lakshmi devi accepts lord jagannath to enter back <laughs> see this is how the whole thing is enacted in fact you understand this is the bahuda yatra jay jay jagannath sachiranda त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद नीला चाले चंग चक्र गद पद्मदार नदिया नगर दंड कमंडलु गार के गो बोले पूरे तेरा वन बोलीला गोलो के वैभव लीला प्रकाश कोला के गो बोले पूर पूरे तेरा वन बोलीला गोले के वैभव लीला प्रकाश कोला जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद श्री राबेर बाबे बे गोर हरे कृष्ण राम गौर पूरी न प्रचार श्री राधार बाबे वे गौर अवतार हरे कृष्ण राम गौर कोरी न प्रचार वासुदेव घोष बोले कोरी जोड़े हार जय गौर जय कृष्ण जय जगन्नाथ वासुदेव घोष बोले कोरी जोड़ हार जय गौर जय कृष्ण जय जगन्नाथ जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जार चरण बंद नीला चाले संग चक्र गद पद्मदास नदिया नगर दंड कमंड लुकार नीला चाले संग चक्र गद पद्मदास नदिया नगर दंड कमंड लुकार जय जय जगन्नाथ सचिरानंद त्रिभुवन को जात चरण बंद त्रिभुवन को जात चरण बंद 
ಶ್ರೀ ಭುವನ ಕೋರೆಯ ಚರಣ ವಂದ